good boy. A second boy. Hi, everybody. Wait a minute. Hi, everybody. How are you? It's me. Long time no see. Oh my gosh. It's been like, been forever, right? Like, OMG. All right. So, <laughs> uh, this right here is where I'm going to make, and you can see I've been, uh, accumulating gravels. Yeah. I've, my, my yard grows rocks. So what I normally do is I grab up the leaf blower and I blow all of the rocks down against the house. See, I haven't moved these yet, but I, I've, I've moved all those, the majority of them anyway. So that's where I get my rocks. My yard grows them, then I blows them, and then I shovel them up. <laughs> And I move them over there um, because I need to have this uh, platform as high on this side as low on this side that's a smoker my husband made he's a genius I mean we're creative um, so that's what I'm gonna do I'm like, yeah, I don't really feel like doing a video, but I guess I'll do a video because I got to get out there. I got to accumulate my rocks. I got to level it out so I can camp in my cot tent that I've only used twice. And I need the ground to be more um, level so it doesn't mess up the frame of the cot. Um, yeah, I need to have a level spot for sure. You see, I've got my whole yard. It just kind of slopes down to the creek. So, yeah, I'm like, okay, I'm going to do that. I'm going to go. I'm going to get the rocks. I'm going to start doing it because I haven't done it in a while. It's been raining for a while here in North Carolina. It just started to dry up. Like, it rained for like four days. So, blessed be, that was great. Um, and then I'm like, you know what? Let me go do this. I'm going to make a video. And then I realized that my phone only has like 48% battery. So, there's that. Anywho, I hadn't been on here in a while. And I wanted to say hey. And I wanted to say thank you so much to all of you who... You know, just want to watch a regular person. I'm just, uh, I'm going to be 52 this year. Got a little bit of a learning curve. I'm dyslexic. Um, not that that has anything to do with anything. But, you know, I do things a little different than most people. And then maybe, you know, if I could help out one person, something I share be useful. That's fantastic. You know, I'm, uh, I appreciate everybody who watches any of the stuff that I put up. I mean, cause I'm just, just a regular spiritual being, child of the universe, having a human experience. I don't, there's my son. He's a miniature schnauzer. I have a cat. That's a daughter. You know, what is that? Bi species, uh, family. Yeah. So. Um, thank you again for watching. I will be putting more videos up because that brings me joy. And uh, like and subscribe if you want to. <laughs> I'm not one to, uh, I'm not one to, let me set you down. Set you down like I'm not one to be like, you know, to be like, oh, subscribe to my channel. Um, that'd be great though. That'd be great. But I mean, you know, if that if it's if you're here, you're here. If you're not, then so be it. I'm not gonna be upset by it. Um, but yeah, I've got I've got my camping thing that I'm going to be setting up, and then 
Let me get you. I guess I just wanted to show off my nine and nine and three quarters uh, shirt. I don't know why I did that. Um, and then I have another space over here. Um, this is our fire pit ring. It's got a lot of paper in there. Um, and then I have. Let me pick this up. Uh, Reckons. I got, excuse me. Oh my gosh. I've got my swimming pool area right here that I usually deck out. It has lights and stuff, but it's been too cool to set up the pool. Oh wow, I'm a poet. Did I know it? Absolutely, I did. Absolutely. And then over here, um, over in here, at the, uh, we have the art gazebo. That's where I paint. Um, I'm going to, I've cleared this space out. I'm going to turn it into somewhat of a miniature golf course. You know, put some, sink some holes. I'm just going to be like, terrain is terrain. That's the obstacle. Um, I'm going to gather up the wood here, throw it in the burn pit, and then set that paper on fire. But it's not the right time. Certain times, you can only burn certain times. Look, snake hole. <laughs> yeah. Oh, let's go over here and check on my uh, raised bunk beds that I made. I had footage of me standing in the top of this thing, uh, but for whatever reason, it... Uh, it didn't, it didn't save, so I didn't get to put a video up, but this is, this is the bunk bed. Obviously, the top flower bed's got tomatoes and peppers and squash and pumpkins. The bottom one doesn't have as much light, obviously, <laughs> but you don't know how things are going to work out. It was the whole plan to have, like, sun plants and low-light plants. Um, but, you know, you don't know how things are going to work out until you just do it. That's how you discover things. So, my double-decker bunk bed gardening system is not ideal. <laughs> but I had to build it. Because. And it's low um if i were to die <laughs> which i will one day um and it biodegrades it only has hardware in a few few places just in a few places the rest of this um is all just dry stacked let me see if i can show you See, it's just all dry stacked, so it just pulls out low impact. Yeah, that was my house. And then, of course, you know, I have flower beds everywhere. Most of the flowers in my yard came from my mother's yard. Um, when she transcended, my stepdad decided he was just going to mow everything down, so I gathered up the late neighborhood ladies. And we would go. And so the Rosa Sharons across the way, they came from my mom's. Oddly enough, the Rosa Sharons in my yard, not really happy. I don't, eh, to each his own. Uh, my husband's outdoor kitchen area. Um, this is uh, inspiration that I've seen on YouTube. Hello. All right, let's walk around this way. More flower bed. I love my mossy yard, but see, my yard grows gravels. So, uh, my objective is to can continue gathering up the rocks and moving the rocks down to my pad. Yeah. But, and I was going to take you along with me, but I'm not going to be able to do that right now because my phone's about to die. And, uh, I just wanted to get this out there to let you know that I am alive. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> and I am functioning. And uh, just been like, you know, chilling, taking it easy. But this is not going to get done. My outdoor sanctuary is not going to get done if I'm not out here doing it. Say. <laughs> So be happy, be well. Thank you so much for subscribing to my channel, for being here, um, for just hanging out. Be you and I'll be me. Don't ever change because you're wonderful. And uh, anybody who thinks otherwise, are they really that important? <laughs> <No>. <laughs> be happy, be healthy, and be well. I will be seeing you again.